Today, I want to talk a little bit about pre-approvals. Sometimes it's a touchy subject when you're, you're first meeting a buyer, you know, and ask them about their finances uh, prior to going and looking at, you know, probably one of the biggest investments they've ever purchased. So sometimes it does get a little offensive to buyers, you know, oh, whoa, whoa, why, why are you asking me that? But quite honestly, we're just trying to get you prepared to have the best outcome. So when you go and meet with a lender, they're going to tell you, you know, what you can afford max. And then you're going to tell the lender where you're comfortable at, right? Like you're not going to max out possibly, maybe you need to. But what that does is it gives us the, the leverage when we do make an offer on a house that we have it, you have you pre-approved, everything's good, you've been looked at financially, that you can uh, finance the house that you're making an offer on. And so that's that's important for the sellers to see. Like they want you to see, they want to see that you're ready to buy, that you've already been through pre-approval, you already been underwriting, like you're good to go. Some of the other reasons, just more common stuff, you know, when I'm showing buyers properties, the reason I want to get them in pre-approved uh, basically is I don't, I want them to know what they can afford and not undershoot their budget. Like, I don't want them to go out and think, look, I can only afford a hundred thousand. That's just what I feel like I can afford. I've not talked to a lender and they're going out looking at a hundred thousand dollar homes when they could probably really afford 150 or 200,000. And in this market, it's important because those homes are hard to find and you need to be a pre-approved. So when you see it, you can purchase it. And on the other end of that, like, I don't want to take you out and show you half a million dollar homes and get you really excited that you're going to purchase this home and then find out that your pre-approval only comes in, say, 400. So it can be very emotional and very frustrating to fall in love with a home that you, then you later you find out you can't afford. So I always, always stress for my buyers to get pre-approved and just see what we are capable of and see what you're comfortable with prior to going out looking in homes. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.